Hi, I'm Danny Boyle, you're watching Mariners TV. So Phil, it looked great to us from the sideline, what was it like to play today? Um, satisfying, um, we did a lot of preparation during the week because I looked at their record prior to the game and I mean, had you started the season after we beat them down at their place, they'd probably be top of the league, so there was never going to be any complacency there, I thought we started the game well. And, I mean, I think we played better in, during the season, but I just think we're well, ruthless in front of the road today. And um, when you're 3-0 up, it always gives you that extra bit of confidence so you can play. Um, we, we came in at half-time and pick us in front of armour, so I had, like, no complacency. They'll, they'll come out first 10-15 minutes, which they, which they did. Um, but I thought we dealt with it well, and I thought we were very worthy winners. How important was it to start well today against a team that's in such good form as well? Oh, unbelievable, aye, because if, if they go ahead, I mean... If, gives them that little bit more confidence, more than what they've already had. So it was um, vital that we got off to a good start, which in fairness we did. I mean, we're up at 3 0 at half time, and they're probably thinking, like, what up against here? Um, so very satisfied they all around, really. It was in midweek for the programme as well, and you mentioned the, the sort of get together you had on Tuesday training in terms of getting the, this discussion going about what went wrong maybe last Saturday. Yeah. How important was that, do you think, and how beneficial was it? Uh, like I said in that interview, I mean, it's a, it's like a democracy, yeah, you know what I mean? There's no dictatorship from the management to involve the players, let we get involved, let we get the points across, which, you know, sometimes they won't be able to see things that are happening on the pitch, so we can speak to them and just, I mean, I mean we just give them a point of view and then they'll, they might take it on board, they might not, but I, th I thought Tuesday was brilliant. Uh, then the training on Thursday was a very good standard and I think we took it into the game today and it probably do it every week now if it's like that. Form here is so impressive as well. What do you think the key behind that is and how much do you enjoy playing here? I said on the other night, the fans here are intimidated that team's coming. Do you know, you come in this 1200 plus most weeks, and do you know, they, they motivate us, so we're pressing harder, we're, we're better on the ball, and things like that. So it, it's difficult for the teams. I've, I've played at grounds where you go and there's a massive crowd, and you think, oh, it's a cliche, but it's like another man. Mm -hmm. So that's vital. I mean, the conditions suit our brand of football, the pitch is excellent. and I mean, the conditions today were probably perfect for us because it's wet, there's no wind, the ball moves about well. So it uh, suits our style and why well, it showed really, didn't it? We paid tribute to Jack Fowler before the game as well. Was he in your thoughts as well? And, and other he was. Um, I went to school with his mum, Ashley. Um, so, I mean, it, I mean, that's dedicated to him today, him and his family. Um, so, uh, well, like I said, it's, it's dedicated to them and it was fitting. I think Finna scored it mm -hmm. on 10 minutes as well, which Pick has mentioned at half time, which was his favourite number and things like that. So, fate, uh, yeah, yeah. fate maybe. And just moving on from here, we've got Nantwich away next Saturday. They're top of the league after today's results as well, so will there be a chance to make a, make a statement there, do you think? Next well, um, I've played the, the other teams in the past. It's good pitch, good little ground. Um, tough game, like we top of the league, and at this stage of the season, the, the league doesn't really lie. So um, it'll be a hard game, but like I said, we, we've set objectives and we know what we want to do every game. And so we'll work this week on Saturday's game and just take one game at a time.